Hello, everybody. How are you? Welcome to my channel. I am doing a reading right now for Pisces. This is for all my fish out there. Oh, you know what? Today is Friday, too. Kind of crazy. <laughs> fish Friday. You had to be an old Catholic to know that. Um, it used to be a belief that um, the Catholics did not eat meat on Fridays and only ate fish or vegetarian, uh, vegan kind of meals, but no meat. It was a fish Friday. And that's why fish on Fridays are still so popular around the planet. We're not eating Pisces today. We are going to see how things are going for Pisces. <clears throat> All right. Asking for the greatest and best good. Anytime I shuffle the cards, I say it silently normally, um, but have been starting to say it out loud so that you um, that follow me. Ooh, that one wanted out there. I'm going to let it come out for Pisces. Um, so you guys know what I'm doing. That card that, and then the other one that just fell out too, are what we refer to as jumpers. Um, a jumper is any kind of card that kind of flips, flies, falls, floats, flaps. <laughs> any way it can get out of the deck, it wants to be read. It's, need, it's got something it wants to say. Let me know what's going on with Pisces. All right, Pisces. That's I've got enough jumpers on the table. We can get get started. Um, I tried to get this posted for you guys earlier, but it did not. Something happened in the on the techno end. You know, I'm not real good at that part, but getting a little better at it. You know, it takes a little while for Grandma to come in <laughs> the the. The, the appropriate century, um, the 21st or 21st century, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Wow, well, look at us go. <laughs> All right, Pisces, um, you're tired of hanging around. You are tired of hanging around. You're ready for some change. You're ready for some excitement. You're ready for something new to come into your life. Um, right now, Pisces is a very good opportunity, a good time for you to start manifest that. Um, things are going to begin to happen for you a little bit. You're walking away from something that there were too many people that had their input. You know, usually the Three of Swords indicates, um, you know, it could be a broken heart. Um, but it does tell me that there's somebody else in the background putting their two cents worth in. Or they were. Um, I feel this situation is in the past, the recent past, or you're just getting ready to step away from it um, now, um, Pisces. So um, this kind of indicates, you know, you had a little bit of a, 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 a disappointment, broken heart, um, not sure to what degree, but we're going to clarify that as we go. Um, we also have the chariot card, Pisces. Chariot card is... Um, person you were dealing with was almost the polar opposite of you in this case I'm using my intuition um I'm, I'm trying to dial in on what this got going on here for you Pisces um but yeah the person that you were you're trying to cope with was just the polar opposite um they wanted to float they didn't want to hold up their end of the deal. They didn't want to um, do their fair share of the chores, whether this is a relationship yet or um, family member. It could be anything. Um, you also have the page of wands that comes up. You're, you know, there's um, a little bit of communication that's getting ready to come out. Something's coming uh, new is going to be coming to light here. But um, Pisces, be careful because sometimes... That communication, that club, usually somebody wants to come up and uh, clobber somebody else with it, okay? It does not necessarily mean that it's um, a good communication. It's going to be some kind of a little bit of a surprise coming out um, in this communication. But it's all well and good because this is the justice card that comes up for you, Pisces. This is, you know, it's it, it's your turn. Things are finally going to turn around for you. You've had a kind of a stream of bad luck. Hey, hang on here while I turn my fan on getting a little warm here in Studio 7. 
There we go. Um, and I've got incense burning in the room. Ah, oh, there we go. It smells good. Feels good. Energy's awesome. All right. Um, yeah, you're gonna. There's something gonna kind of information that's gonna come to light out of that communication. That you're gonna say, see that any decision that you come to, you're thinking through, and you're gonna make the right decision. Um, don't worry about that. Follow your gut instinct on that. You know, we have the nine uh, um, cups that comes up for you, and that's kind of the wish card. It, um, you know, you're hoping and hoping and hoping that this thing was gonna work out, and it sure as hell didn't. Um, not exactly what you expected, Pisces. That's all right. Let's see what we've got coming here. It is a rainy afternoon or morning. What time is it here? Um, in Western Pennsylvania. It's actually got a really good energy after a, a good thunderstorm. You know, the static and uh, the uh, uh, lightning kind of clears a lot of the negativity out of the air. It's really intense and scary when the lightning is kind of crashing all around at that time. But afterwards, there's such a, a sense of um, refreshing, just cleansed. Yep, there it is. Um, it came up in reverse, however. It is the Three of Cups. Um, yeah, there were too many people. You had too much input going on in this situation, Pisces. Um, too many people influencing you uh, and your thoughts. Um, the way you were looking at it. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Nine of Swords. And the Ace of Cups. It's coming. It's coming. It's not coming fast, though. You know, the Wheel of Fortune, That's it, it, it's the, the wheel's rolling. You know, rolling on down the river. It's raining today. Um, things are, are, it's beginning to change. The cycle is beginning to switch. There's new, refreshing, better things coming for you, Pisces. You got the, um, you got two nines out on the table. Okay, nines, nines are that new, getting you ready for that new beginning, you're ready for that new beginning. You know, you had a lot of sleepless nights, you, 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 you really ruminated, I thought I had to throw a big word out there, um, you really, really worried and um, overthought this issue, you, you're, you're still up in your head about it, you haven't been able to kind of release all of that, but it's going to happen for you. Um, Pisces. It's, even though that's kind of looking heavy, you've got the Ace of Cups in reverse. That new opportunity's coming. It's not going to come real fast. It's going to be it's going to be held back yet because you haven't stepped out of the out of the heavy energy yet. Okay, you haven't healed. You've got to take steps inside yourself and do your own shadow work. You can find another relationship. There's there's opportunities that are going to be coming, Pisces. Um, I'm turning that around so you can see it. It, it. It's coming out of the cloud. That hand is offering that that uh, loving cup, okay? Um, and it is coming in divine timing. You know, you're not going to be able to stop this new opportunity. You can't screw it up at this point, okay? Let the universe take it. Let give it up to the universe. Let it handle it. Um, but it is, yeah, it did come up in reverse for you. So it's going to take a, a minute or two for it to come around to you. But in the meantime, work on your own healing, work on your own shadow work, you know, dig down in there. What, what's bugging you? You know, you don't need to go to a counselor, dig down in there and, you know, say somebody hurt my feelings when I was a kid. Um, you know, I felt like I was abandoned. I didn't feel like I was wanted, you know, dig in there, see it and just address it. And then let it the hell go. Don't dwell on it. Don't, uh, you know what, you, you can have PTSD, you could be bipolar, um, you know, you, you can have, um, you can have dealt with a narcissist, but as long as you keep thinking about it and dwelling on it and saying that's what, where you're at, that's where you're going to be. You're not going to step away from it and re-identify with a new persona, and that's what's coming. All right, Pisces. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, man. Out of the woods and into the light. Isn't that what the munchkins all sang? 
You know what? I'm having a good day today. Um, the Empress comes up for you in reverse. That's you coming, getting back close to being who you are, um, Pisces. You're going to be sitting in your own strength here in a little bit. Your life was topsy-turvy for you. Um, but you're going to be coming back around and, and feeling solid and sure of who you are. Um, <clears throat> the opportunities are going to be there, Pisces. Look at them. Um, we have the, you know, sometimes I actually have to read them. Uh, you know, I've been doing, holding, doing these sin cards for 20 years and I had to read and count seven. I know that that's a seven. Seven of cups. Got to look up there at the Roman numeral. Every once in a while, Tina has a, a brain uh, malfunction and has to look up there. That's old age. You know what? Um, a, a lot of a rough lifestyle in the 70s. Um, seven of Cups is a lot of opportunity. Look at it. Now, Pisces, the big thing you've got to, to do right now with your life is look. Every one of those opportunities is going to present itself as some kind of chaos, some kind of confusion. Um, you have to learn how to really make, take your lemons and add some tequila and make some good freaking lemonade. Um, it's how you take the opportunity as it comes up. Um, it could, they're going to come up good, bad, and indifferent. But from that is where you make your opportunity. Um, the last two cards that come up for you um, are... The reason those opportunities are going to turn out to be good opportunities for you. We have the strength card in the back. And the sun card in the front there. All right. You've been strong. You've held up through all of this. Uh, I have several cards there, but it's because I do small cuts. But you've been holding up through all of this. You, you've kind of held your tongue as best you could. Um, you didn't cause too much um, wake um, behind you. You didn't, you know, make too many uh, ripples in the water. You're just kind of letting this thing fall apart on its own. You have shown strength, Pisces. And that sun card is the happiest card in the deck. You know, things are going to come to light for you. Things are going to get lighter for you. Bam. There it is. Pisces. All right, you guys. Um, it's an awesome day out there. Um, check out your other um, uh, your other readings, your other horoscope signs. Drop down, subscribe, like, and share me. And um, I never leave you that I don't say God bless and send in you love and light. See you guys soon.